A number of Zenny 62 viewers have asked me about the lease situation, and I explained to them that the base lease has been done, but there are in total 13 documents to be completed. This statement by Las Vegas Stadium Authority Board member Stephen Hill made eight, May 18th of 2017 at the meeting where the Raiders lease was approved explains that the approval of the lease is conditional upon the completion of all of the other documents. So you can now understand that it's really a question of when the stadium authority and the Raiders complete all of the documents, not just the lease agreement that was approved, but all of them. Listen to this by Stephen Hill. Uh, I want to thank Mark Arnold and certainly Jeremy and the folks at, uh, at Applied Analysis, the folks at Brownstein, um, and I want to thank the board uh, for uh, your engagement over the, the past several months. Uh, it has made a difference. Uh, I know Jeremy has had uh, quite a bit of interaction with all of you, um, and uh, I appreciate it. I know he does as well. Um, without that, we wouldn't be here either. Um, I want to make it clear that um, if the board does approve the lease today, uh, it will be contingent upon all of the other requirements in the law uh, and all of the other agreements that uh, need to be uh, negotiated and concluded uh, being done as well. Um, this certainly um, include uh, the UNLV lease and use agreement. Um, it includes the community benefit agreement. Uh, it includes all the work uh, that the Raiders need to do with Clark County. Uh, on the development permitting side uh, that we heard from uh, Ms. Amundsen during our last meeting. Um, I could list the entire uh, number of those documents, but I'll stop there. But I did want to make it clear that um, those, uh, those agreements are, um, frankly, equally important to this one. Uh, but this is a core agreement that allows this project to move forward, and we think um, because of that, it, it deserved the uh, initial priority in this work. Um, I know the Raiders have expressed that um, certainly uh, all of these are important, uh, but that the UNLV agreement and the Community Benefits Agreement uh, really are now at the top of that priority list, and we will go to work uh, to make sure those things happen uh, in the next several months. Um, from a process standpoint, um, in order to make sure that the board had um, the opportunity to uh, thoroughly review the documents, uh, have time to ask questions, express any concerns, um, we had agreed that uh, we would bring to the last meeting on the 11th um, a, an, a lease agreement that was as close to final as we felt that we could get. Um, there were still a few open items. Uh, the, during the last meeting, board members had questions. I know there was uh, some input with, uh, with Jeremy and our staff uh, between last board meeting and this board meeting. Uh, but by uh, putting so much effort into getting as close to uh, a final agreement as possible on the 11th, um, I think and I hope you agree that uh, it has allowed uh, the time necessary uh, for every member of the board uh, to have the time to look through that agreement, ask the questions that they needed to ask, um, and provide the input into the uh, what we hope is a uh, nearing or is a final product today. Um, I want to make it clear that um, if um, you have concerns today that we cannot resolve uh, in this meeting. Uh, we have scheduled a meeting for Monday. Uh, that meeting will take place regardless, but this same agenda item uh, is on the meeting for Monday uh, in the event that um, the board does not feel comfortable moving forward with the lease agreement today. Uh, it is why we structured the three-step process where uh, we really set an internal deadline for trying to get as close as we could last week uh, in, t in, in order to give you a full week uh, to interact with our staff on, on the document. Uh, but if we are not 
quite at the finish line yet. Uh, we do have Monday available um, to work between now and then. Um, and with that, um, I'll just turn it over to uh, Mr. Aguero and open agenda item four.